welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a first impression review on the brand new KKW Beauty Powder Contour and Highlight Kit. Here is what they look like. They sent me the entire kit. We have the light, medium, and deep. So I'm really excited to test these out with you guys. There's been so many controversial issues around these kits already. Some people love it, some people hate it, so... I'm curious. So I'm super excited to test out these kits for myself and see what it's all about. But before we get started, I wanted to quickly remind you guys that our back to school giveaway is happening right now. I'm giving away all of these goodies that you are seeing in this photos. There's some MacBooks, some backpacks, Kylie Cosmetics, KKW Beauty. There's some stuff from Too Faced, Urban Decay, and lots more amazing goodies. So if you want to join, I'm going to link the video down in the description box below. The rules are super simple. It's very easy to join. The main rule is you have to be a subscriber of this channel, so you know, if you want to subscribe, then subscribe. <laughs> also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos, if you enjoy first impression reviews, or if you like Starbucks. If you like Starbucks, you're, mm -hmm, yeah, you have to like this video. All right, so we are ready to begin. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and without further ado, let's do this. Da -da -da. So this retails for $52 on the KKW Beauty website and it also comes with this dual-ended brush which looks like this. One side you get the angled brush and it says to use this to apply and blend the contour shades and then the other side you have more of a rounded brush and it says to use this to apply the highlighter shades. The brushes to me are fairly soft. I mean they're definitely not the most softest brushes I've ever felt in my entire life but they're pretty soft. So here's watches of the light kit the first highlight you get kind of like a nice soft champagne color second highlight is more of a peachy color with pink undertones the first contour has more of a warm tone shade and then the last one has more of a cool tone shade moving on to the medium kit the first highlight is a yellow gold shade second highlight reminds me of the one from the light kit it also kind of has like a pinkish champagne pinkish color to it and then the first contour is the warm tone shade and the last one is the cool tone shade moving on to the last kit this is the darkest kit the first highlight we have this really nice kind of like rose gold color which i really like and then here's the next highlight shade and then we move on to the first contour shade which is very very dark and pigmented and lastly we have the second contour which is again another cool tone shade so they all swatched pretty well i don't have any complaints so far but it is now time to put them to the actual test and put it on the face because we all know swatches never tell the truth they're completely different from you know putting them on the actual face with a brush so as you guys can see I have everything else on my face but my contour bronzer and highlight and I think I am the medium kit so we are going to be focusing on the medium kit on my face and I'm gonna start by bronzing my face first and I'm going to be using this color and I'm gonna be using the brush that comes with it and again on the website it does recommend to use the angled brush to apply and blend the contour shade so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the product I'm just gonna tap it off and bronze up my face let me go ahead and pick up a little bit more product I do think this shade is a little bit too orange for my liking. Like it's a little, it's a little too orange from what I'm used to. It's a little oompa loompa-ish, but I think we can make it work, right? But if you're into contour shades like this, then you're definitely going to like this one. I'm gonna get some for my forehead. Ooh. Okay, that one was a little too harsh. Make sure you tap off the excess because that that got a little patchy. I'm actually really impressed with the brush. I actually didn't think I was gonna like it as much, but the more I'm using it, the more I'm getting used to it. So now moving on to contouring, I'm using the darkest shade, which is this one. And again, I'm using the same exact brush and just kind of, ooh, that's a little too much. Tap off the excess and then, hmm. Mm-hmm. I can roll with that. Yep, yep. I actually really like this shade for contouring. It's definitely a shade that I would normally go for when I'm contouring my face. So and it's also blending in fairly nicely onto my face. What do you guys think? 
Moving on to the highlights, and I think I'm going to try this one first, which is the pinkish champagne color and I'm going to be using the rounded brush for this one because that's what she recommends on her website so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that and tap off the excess apply it right here oh you guys that's beautiful Woo! Oh, that is so pretty okay this highlight <laughs> I love it already! <laughs> Next, I'm gonna try this one on my other cheek. This one is definitely not as blinding as the other one. I've actually never been a lover of yellow, yellowish highlights. I've always been more of a fan of pinky ones like this shade, but this one's also not bad. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and also apply it to my nose. That's blinding. <laughs> Maybe tone it down just a little bit. Why not apply it to the bridge of my nose, forehead, Cupid's bow. Oh, I love this highlight. All right, so now it's time for my overall thoughts on the brand new powder, contour, and highlight kit. So we're mainly focusing on the medium kit since you know, this is what we used. So overall, I did really have a great experience trying it out for the first time, but there's a few things I want to mention. First off, the first contour shade. I think the shade is just a little bit too warm and too, I guess, orangey for my liking. It's definitely not bad, but it's more of a personal preference. It's just, you know, not what I'm used to. Another thing I wanted to mention is the yellow highlight. Again, another personal preference. If I had to choose to remove something out of this palette, it would have to be the yellow highlight. Because again, I'm not really into yellow highlighters and it's also not as blinding as the other one. I feel like the other shade overshadows it for sure, so. <laughs> Not really a big fan of it, but again, personal preference. If you are into yellow highlighters and if you are into more of a orangey bronzer, then this is definitely perfect for you. The other contour shade was perfect for me. You guys saw it blended in very, very nicely onto my face. And of course, this one, this beautiful highlight that is just... <laughs> if these ever came out as singles, I would totally buy the highlighter and the second contour, or they can do like a dual. <gasps> As far as the applicators, again, I was really impressed with the angled brush. I really didn't have high expectations for it, so it really caught me off guard when it performed well. For the rounded brush, this one's just okay for me. The size is a little too big for my liking. I usually use small brushes when it comes to applying my highlighters, but I mean, it's not bad, but I'm also not obsessed with it. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video and that's officially it. I love you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Mwah.